Ubuntu provides, um, we mentor young people, we educate them, whether through be um, in a classroom setting or one-on-one -on -one tutorial services, and we seek to empower them in various forms, whether it be um, music, introduction to music or introduction to swimming, to a soccer game, just to really empower the whole person. Oh, sounds great. I understand you also provide scholarships. Can you tell us a little bit more about that as well? Oh yeah, um, the name of the scholarship is the Leroy Ainsworth Memorial Scholarship. It is named after my late husband and our family and friends decided in order to keep his legacy alive, we would educate young people as he was very, he was very in tune with youth. He was very supportive and he would always share and teach. So we want to continue that to empower the next generation. Okay. Um, also, what are the criteria for the scholarship? The criteria are on our website, but primarily you have to be um, graduate from high school, first year in post-secondary, and you could be going into an apprenticeship program, a college program, or university program. And it's also for students that are on a individual education plan. So we seek to get the whole community. So, and you're not judged against anyone, you're, you, you're looked at as an individual. So I believe that this is the first scholarship that truly encouraged members of the community who are in individual education plan to apply. We don't want to leave anyone behind. That's awesome. What, why did you decide to create a scholarship fund? I feel that as a community, we need to give back. And a lot of times students are out there, they have the aspirations. We see that um, the aspirations are really high, but a lot of times the financial part comes into being. So sometimes if it's just to buy some books or buy a tool, it encourages the young people to know that there's a community behind them all rooting for their success. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Now, who can apply and when can they apply? The scholarship we usually is given out in September to coincide with the school year. So anywhere from May to August, we encourage applicants to um, go to the website or email the website and we can forward the scholarship applications. Mm -hmm. Do you mind sharing with us right now the website address? Yeah, it's Ubuntu Academic Excellence Inc. dot com, and um, we just really want you to come out and support us. Now, in two thousand and seventeen, uh, we both thank you for having me. Yes. We both went to a gala in Scarborough yeah. uh, to present the first um, scholarship. Yes. It was amazing. And I will be posting some pictures so that... Uh Um, the audience can see that you have presented this scholarship. Now, the first one was for, uh, I believe her name is Sabrina Kerr. Yes. And then probably shortly thereafter, we also presented one at Malton Seventh-day Adventist Church, yes. where we gave um, another one to a Mariah Kennedy, I believe. Yes. And she uh, is off to university in a different province. Now, tell me how, when you presented the first, the first one, that would have been your, your ha-ha moment where you think, you know what, we actually did the first one as promised, so now you're prepping to give um, the other ones. Yes. But how did, that, how did that moment make you feel when you actually did present it when we went down in Scarborough? I just wanted that for you to tell me how it really felt. It was an amazing moment. Um, you were there, we shared it together, and um, the young lady was very um, appreciative. She mentioned that um, she was in her first year at pre-med at Brock University, and um, she was just amazed to know that we um, were able to help her on her journey to becoming a pedi pediatrician. Thank you so much. Now, these are the things that 
I like to share that's going on in the community so that from one amazing woman, because I've known you for a while now and I think you're amazing and I think what the um, Ubuntu stands for that um, we should stand out. And I think, I feel that you're walking in your purpose, because that's what I want to call this session here, is walking in your purpose. And you're doing an amazing job. Is there anything that we've left out that you would like to add before we close this session? Yes, primarily, um, this scholarship is funded primarily by... Um, donations and um, we've been privileged to know that a lot of our donations have come from close friends and family um, we would like to be able to afford more scholarships so we ask that you um, support us in our endeavor invest in our young people and you can go to the website and make donations or the address is there so we thank you so much in advance for your continued support and I would like to thank you as well, Veronica, for taking the time out to spend this moment with me to um, get Ubuntu on the map so that people out there will know that there is someone there concerned about our youths and about our children succeeding in life, i.e. education. Thank you so much for stopping in. Thank you for having me and the Foundation. Thank you so much.